almond flour crackers. Today I'm going to show you how to make almond flour crackers, which means they're vegan gluten-free almond flour crackers. And they're super simple. I love crackers. They're not cheap. So when you can learn to make your own, it's worth it. And this is a super easy recipe because it uses almond flour and it's really easy to roll out. So you guys got to make this. It's fantastic. super easy everything's a dry ingredient except for the olive oil so we're going to dump our almond flour in here and then we're just going to add all the dry ingredients the flax seed but that's ground flax seed pepper and you can use any spices that you like but these are ones that are in a lot of crackers almond flour pepper salt and oregano that's kind of the basic ingredients of a lot of the crackers out there we're gonna stir that around because we only have two, two more ingredients and that's water and olive oil. Okay, so I suggest we put this aside and we add the olive oil. Now the thing that's really important, we really need to get the olive oil into that almond flour. And you're just gonna keep doing this Almonds have a lot of natural oils in them and when you use this flour you start getting the almond oil out of the almonds. So you can almost see it's wanting to stay together in some parts. See? That's a good sign that we've got the oil incorporated into our almond flour. Okay, now we add cold water. At some point here, you always stop with the spatula and use your hand. That's a technique you learn to do in bread. You've got to be able to feel the dough. And this is not a dough we need to knead, but we need it to come together. And if it doesn't come together enough, then we're going to have to add water one tablespoon at a time. But I think this is going to be good. This is why you want to keep working so I think I'm ready to put my hands in there now yeah that's nice that is nice see how it's coming together now that's what we're wanting we're just wanting to get this into a ball that can stay together so let me wash my hands and clear the counter and then we're gonna roll it out so the easiest way to roll is between two pieces of parchment paper, especially this kind of dough because there's no gluten flour in it and it's harder to get off the counter and you don't want to add flour to it because we're going to keep them gluten free. So you're going to just put the dough It's always best if you start with your starting shape you want your starting shape to be how you're trying, but in the end, it doesn't matter because when it goes round, then you just cut the edges. Okay, now we put our butter over the top. But our goal is to get these rolled out quite thin, less than a quarter of an inch. I would say like an eighth of an inch or thinner. I think people usually make crackers too thick when they make them by hand. So I always think rolling them out thinner is better. So don't get scared, just kind of roll them and try it. I think I want to go even a little more. If there's places in the dough, like I think this part's a little too thin, then we can just put that in our pile and roll again. That's the beauty of this recipe. Okay, now we have squares. So we can do, let's do this one in three. OK, 
Okay, so let's get some more dough. And let's do it again. And for the rest of this batch, because that's probably about half, those I'm going to do with sea salt. And for this batch, I want to do this, but I don't do it until I have them cut. So I know I'm not going to waste any of this. This is just an everything bagel spice. You know, it has poppy seeds and sesame seeds and onion powder and garlic powder. And this is the flake sea salt, right? And because we have to turn these over, I don't know how much the flake's gonna stay on there, but we'll sprinkle them with regular salt too. Because I think when we flip them over, we might lose a lot of this, but we're gonna try it. It's just beautiful looking to make sure that stays. Got the oven preheated at 350. I'm gonna put this guy in right now. 10 minutes, then we have to flip them over and I have five to 10 minutes on the other side. Okay, it's 10 minutes, it's time to turn them over. Looking good. Back in the oven doesn't look like for too much longer. I would say no more than five minutes. Okay, let's get the last batch out of the oven and then we get to taste test. That looks like about the right color. So let's turn these puppies over. Okay, my favorite part. So they're somewhat cooled, but not all the way cooled. They'll be really cool tomorrow, but I just wanna show you. You can see they crack and crunch. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's incredible. That is so good and I'm telling you, it's better with the everything bagel seasoning on the top. They're good just with salt, but when you taste them like that, wow. You can use these any way you would use a, a regular cracker, but one of the things I like to do is, you know, I made my spicy tomato jam. I always have some in my fridge so I have that right here and you can just have a nice little serving of spicy tomato jam by Soul Canyon Kitchen. Wow, what a combination. That's so good. Okay, and this is a cheese from the farmer's market. It's so delicious, this cheese. It's made from cashews and they put, this one has mustard Although I can eat that much, let's take a bite. Wow. You know, when the cracker's good alone and then you put something you love already on top, wow. All of those, you know, you have a friend over for tea, have some crackers and vegan cheese or spicy tomato jam. You can put some hummus on top. Really, you can put so many things on top. You can crumble these and put them in your salad. Man, those are so good. Approved. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel.